Welcome to Gray on Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside the rectangle we have a semicircle. And as you can see, the points of this semicircle, this point is actually three units from this vertex or vertice, vertex of this rectangle and this point is six units from the vertex of this rectangle okay so we are required to find the area of the rectangle okay so first thing that we have to do is since we have a semicircle here then we simply label this radius as r and this should be r and if we project a line downwards to the edge of this rectangle then we label this also as r and if we again draw a line but this time a horizontal line towards this rectangle to the right then this should be also r Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to draw a line from this point, the edge and the point of the intersection of the semicircle and the rectangle downwards. So this is actually a length. And this length should be R minus 3 because the total is r and we subtracted 3 i mean we have offset offset of 3 to the left and next is we draw a line from this point to this point to until we get to the vertical radius we have drawn earlier and we label this as this segment as r minus 6 since since this whole line is r the radius of the semicircle and this line is should be r minus 6 because we have to go upwards with 6 units okay so next is we label this angle that we created with the horizontal line let us label this as alpha and this should be also alpha because it is also from a horizontal line and with the uh, diameter of the semicircle they have the same inclination so this angle should be also alpha and since we form a right triangle and if that is a right triangle, then this angle should be a complementary angle with alpha. So, let us call this angle as beta. But a complementary angle. Okay, so next is we prove that these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, are actually congruent triangles since they have a, a pair of angles alpha and beta which are congruent and in between them these the lines the segment i mean are congruent they are both r and because of that these two triangles are actually congruent because of angle side angle congruence theorem okay so proving that they are congruent then this length should be also r minus six and this length should be also r minus 3 okay okay so next is we focus on uh, a single right triangle that we have drawn so we have here the hypotenuse as r so we have r square is equal to r minus 3 square plus r minus 6 square and if we simplify this we have r square is equal to 
r square squaring this binomial minus 6r plus 9 plus squaring the second binomial we have r square minus 12r plus 36 then next is we cancel this r square and simplify further then we have r square then minus 18r if we combine this and if we combine this we have 45 so plus 45 is equal to 0 okay so next is we just need to solve this resulting quadratic equation so I choose to solve this by completing the square so if we use completing the squares then we should make this r square minus 18r plus a blank equal to negative 45 and we need to think of this third term for the quadratic equation on the left to make it a perfect square so we need to divide 18 by 2 so we have 9 and we square that so we have 81 so this is actually a perfect square trinomial so this will become r minus 9 square and since we added 81 on the left hand side we need to add 81 also on this right hand side so we have for negative 45 plus 81 is equal to 36 and next is we get the square root of both sides then we have r minus 9 is equal to 6 and plus or minus 6 and if we finalize this we have r is equal to 9 plus or minus 6 uh, next is actually we are only going to use this 9 plus 6 so 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 so we are not going 9 to use the 9 minus 6 because if we get this value for r minus 6 then if r is 3 then 3 minus 6 will give us a negative distance and since there is no negative distance then we are not using this r to be neg i mean 3 so r is only 15 okay so now we need to label first these distances so r minus 6 is actually 15 minus 6 and that is 9 and this should be also r minus 6 so this is 9 also and this is 6 and for the length since this is actually r minus 3 this distance r minus 3 then 15 minus 3 is equal to 12 and this is also r minus 3 and this is actually 12 also and we are now ready to find the area of the rectangle so for the area of the rectangle it is just equal to length times the width so area of the rectangle is equal to the length is 12 plus 12 plus 3 times the width which is 9 plus 9 plus 6 then if we simplify this we have 24 plus 3 then we have 27 times 9, 18, 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 6 and that is 24 so the area of the rectangle is actually 24 times 27 and that would be 648 square units and that is our answer now thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you liked our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon 
so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye